Hey, this is Mark Henry, author of Dancing with Energy, Healing Magic, and Mysticism, here to talk to you more about the occult and the paranormal. Well, today I'm going to be talking about taming the spirit with temperance. Before I begin, just as I normally do, I just wanted to remind you that I am uh, offering attunements in my attunement store, so if you are interested in leveling up your magic, improving your life, crushing your goals, and uh, just connecting with uh, different entities and experiencing their energy, then uh, feel free to check out my attunement store. The link is in the description. In fact, recently I offered uh, St. Peter, so if you are interested in connecting with the divine, if you're interested in um, removing uh, parasitic entities from your energy field, energy systems, then uh, check out that particular attunement. Um, I have about 90 now, so uh, from different pantheons, from uh, different traditions, so uh, feel free to check that out. Okay, so on to today's video. So we're going to be talking about the uh, Temperance card, and the Temperance card is the uh, 14th card of the Major Arcana, which is uh, typically um, referred to in the uh, sense of the Rider Weight deck. Uh, but like all the Major Arcana, a lot of times when you're looking at a lot of spreads, um, there are usually some um, correlates. But before I, I kind of talk a little bit more about Temperance and the Temperance card, I uh, want to mention a couple things about reading in general. So, first thing is that uh, during a traditional spread, the um, like in temper the uh, temperance card and other cards in general, uh, they should not be read in isolation. They should be read in the context of the other cards in the vicinity, especially um, because it could have mitigating or enhancing factors. And the second thing is that you have to pay attention in a reading to the particular placement of the card, whether that space that the card is um, occupying, whether it is um, representing the past, present, future, the psyche, um, or any other type of theme, uh, because that will let you know, okay, so this particular card is influencing um, this area of my life or um, this particular um, position. So let's talk a little bit about the temperance card. So when we look at the word temperance, uh, temperance has, I guess, traditionally been thought of as uh, a particular, a cardinal virtue, I guess you would think. It's for a long time, traditionally it's been, okay, so this is what we should um, strive for, temperance. Um, so what exactly, uh, I guess, is temperance? Well, it's basically the giving the right energy to something and moving in the right towards the highest goals in your life. Now, that's one definition. Another definition, I kind of give you kind of an example, is, I don't know if you've been a student of history, but there was a point in the early part of the uh, 20th century, the 1900s, where there was something called the temperance movement. And uh, the story behind that was uh, m people, and uh, men specifically, were out uh, drinking a lot and um, you know getting into trouble and then so there was a group of people um, predominantly I would say uh, women who went up in front of Congress and said hey um, when our, our men they're because of this alcohol uh, and there were church women uh, went, in from, went in front of Congress and, and basically said, you know, our, our men are going out, they're staying out too late, they're uh, drinking with their friends, they're having affairs, they're doing all this bad stuff, and the cause is alcohol, so why don't we just do away with alcohol? And for about 13 years, um, that's exactly what happened. But just like anything when you, that people want, Whenever you outlaw something that people want, then it kind of goes underground. That's how all the speakeasies in the um, criminal underground uh, got into the game of serving alcohol um, illegally in uh, underground secret places. So um, temperance in that sense was an abstinence 
of something that was considered to be destructive. So that was sort of the that is this that that is that definition of uh, temperance. So uh, let's look at the temperance card. So maybe we can look at the symbols and tell us more about temperance and what it means in the tarot. Okay, so that's a pretty good image. Um, as you can see, you can see quite a few things. One that there the predominant figure is an angel. And it is the only figure, the only being that is in this particular card. Now, with respect to the angel, it talks about connecting. Angels, in the sense, are uh, thought of as connecting with your heavenly potential, with your spiritual self. And I guess one could say your higher self, the greater best parts of you. Okay, so what else do we see? We see a gray sky and the sun uh, behind the angel's back. So it, that tells me that the, the person who gets this card needs to be careful about not paying attention to certain things. Uh, it is about unnoticed and forgotten intentions, indifference, or apathy towards uh, your life goals. Gray being that sort of blahness, the blah color. When we look at the sun and the sun card in the other video that we did, uh, that takes talks more about potential and fire and energy and reaching your goals. But the fact that this the, the gray sky is gray and the sun is behind the angel says that there is something to be careful of. All right. So next one is um, the wings are red, and that is usually considered uh, fire wings in the tarot. So what do we make of that? So new possibilities. You know, we have the, the orangeness of the wands and the other tarot uh, other cards of the tarot uh, and the the red in here is symbolizing that hey there is still there's still energy there is still possibility with no end in sight one can achieve their potential and their goals okay what else well we have blue mountains and blue mountains indicate, and especially mountains in general, kind of a meeting of heaven and earth coming together, and that's what we kind of want in temperance. We want to have, I guess we're talking about the alcohol, we want to have our vices, our bad habits in check from the energy of the heavens, and yet we still have to respect ourselves as human beings with uh, imperfections and flaws. And that's why we kind of reach towards the divine. And mountains symbolize that. They're in the sky because they're high points and yet they're still the earth. There's still this groundedness. Okay, so now we have the angel. The angel is mixing things. It's mixing water it looks like between the two cups and I think that represents kind of a balance the balance that we've been kind of talking about that one has to uh, resolve and reconcile the contradictions inside of us you want to think of the light and the dark the shadow and the light uh, there needs to be this right state of tension to keep us moving forward and balance in the opposites. Okay. So I'm going to um, put that car down for a second. So I guess what's the bottom line? What does all this mean? 
I, when I think of temperance, I also think of moderation. And I think that that is uh, a key thing about this particular card, is that you have to have balance, you have to have the weighing of contradictions, like I said, the, the light and the dark, um, our uh, lower self and our higher self. And when we get those cards, that's what the message is. That's what it's calling us out to. This is our task, if you want to think of it that way. And I would say that is a brief synopsis of the Temperance card. So um, I actually, when I see this, I, I actually think it's, it's pretty, it's kind of a good thing. It, it tells me that, okay, so the person that this is for hasn't really messed anything up really for themselves. It's kind of like an early warning sign, it's like a trigger that, hey, this is what you need to pay attention to. And this is how, these are the instructions. This is what you have to do to kind of get to where you're going. All right, please subscribe and like. Please check out the description where I'm going to put important links into the Etsy store. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.